Terraform has had an import CLI command for a long time, but it had a few challenges. Resources had to be imported one at a time, and the process of building out the matching resource blocks was very manual. The import command also immediately modified the state file, which could lead to accidental resource changes or even deletion if another team member was making changes at the same time. Let's take a look at how the new config-driven import feature improves this workflow by introducing a new import block that allows you to declare in configuration which resources to import. I'm gonna start out with an almost empty Terraform configuration, just the provider config and no resource blocks. I also have an import.tf file with our new import blocks. Each block is gonna take in the ID of the resource from the provider, as well as the Terraform resource address where it'll be imported. As you can see, I can do this for many resources at once. Here I'm importing 11. We'll kick off the import process by running a plan, using the new command line option to generate configuration for the resources we'll import. Terraform will read in each resource and generate the plan, which now includes the resources to be imported. Terraform has also let us know that it's generated configuration and written it to a generated.tf file. Opening that generated.tf file, we can see the resource block for each of those 11 resources has been generated automatically, along with all of the attribute values for each. Config-driven import has also been integrated with Terraform Cloud. It provides a more secure workflow because developers working on import operations no longer need direct access to state, and they don't need to have cloud credentials in their laptop. In addition to the CLI workflow, which I just showed, Config-driven import is also supported for UI and VCS workspaces, which wasn't possible before. In the plan and apply run results in Terraform Cloud, you'll now see details of all the resources to be imported. Terraform Cloud also provides a view of generated code, which you can download and review before committing it to your Git repo. Now let's actually run and apply and import those resources to state. Thanks to the generated configs, this is a clean import with no unexpected changes to the resources. We can see the apply has completed with 11 resources imported and no unexpected added, changed, or destroyed resources. We can also run a Terraform state list command to verify that we have 11 resources in state. 